CBS. It's all here. But I can't just write Caleb and Julie out of the equation. They've given Aaron a home, a good home for a very long time. But maybe he needs something else now. what he needs right now is to go back to Seattle. He needs to work everything out with Caleb and Julie. And I think that's best for us. Especially with this new baby on the way. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Hurting one person to protect another. I don't want to talk about it. You know what I want to do right now? What? I want to give you my undivided attention. Oh. And I want you to tell me how you feel. Didn't you just ask me that? I think I did, but <laughs> I do believe it's my right as the expected father to yeah. hug her. Absolutely. So you want to know how I feel? I feel like an alien has taken over my body. I never felt this way with Luke or Faith. So. It's the uh, morning sickness. Morning, noon, night, all day. Every day, I was so exhausted. I thought it was the flu at first, or maybe the kids brought something home from school, or... Uh, where have I been? With Abigail, or Luke, or Faith, or Rose, or... it's not, I'm not surprised that you didn't pay attention to it. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do now? Right now, I'm gonna give you all my attention. And you, too. You. <laughs> this is so incredible. I, I just... I can't believe that we're having another baby. I know. You happy? I'm very happy. I couldn't be happier. Correction. One thing could make me happier. What? If Aaron would show up a year from oh, now. Oh, well. I, I, I know that he's having a rough time. Things aren't going so well, but this is just not a good time for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him have a good night's sleep at the farm tonight, and tomorrow I'm going to explain everything to him. I'm sure he'll understand. What? I, what is it? I just can't help seeing it through his eyes. What child understands he's not wanted? Faith a drink of water. Oh, I did, but she was asleep by the time I went back up. Oh. What, you're trying to get rid of me? Sure it's not the other way around. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you know that it's genetically impossible for a grandmother to want her grandchildren to disappear? I hadn't heard that one. Mm. It's probably something else you haven't heard. It took me a while to learn it. What's that? That if you expect people to guess, what it is you want. And you could spend the rest of your life not getting it. You're home now. We're family. Just ask. <laughs> well, I'll see you in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to ride this thing. See you bright and early. This is really selfish, but I don't know if I can handle having him here right now. Why well, bother asking if you know the answer? Here's your visitor. Oh. How? Susan. Thank you, Claudia. If you need anything, I'm just a whistle away. Thank you. Good to see you. You look great. I look like hell, and since you're obviously pulling strings with nurses to see me after hours, something's up with you, so what is it? I saw Rose D'Angelo today, and I can't get Emily out of my mind. You and me both. Have they told you what that, that madman, that so-called doctor has done to them? They don't tell me much in here, but I saw Rose before. He was using her as a lab rat. Now, obviously, he's done the same thing to Carly and Emily. Who knows what other experiments he's carrying out on them? Somebody's got to find them. That's what I keep praying for, Susan. Emily needs more than your prayers. She needs your help. Susan? Oh, hello, Lynn. I get the feeling I've interrupted something. Does it have anything to do with the fact that visiting hours were over about four hours ago and you should be resting? 
This isn't a social visit. Yeah, I, I get that feeling. Are you all right? Huh? I'm fine. I would have gone to you first, but uh, time is really of the essence. Or you thought I'd say no. I'm sorry, but this couldn't wait. Well, what seems to be the problem? Would you consider treating Hal on an outpatient basis? Hal's not ready to be released. Then who's going to help me? Who's going to help me find my daughter? Oh, Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. How are you enjoying our hospitality? I'm not. No, you're not? I'm so sorry to hear that. Are they feeding you down in lockup? Now, I specifically requested that they send you the chef special. I hear that he's a studied in Paris, that chef. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thanks. But I thought maybe I'd like to keep my stomach lining, if that's all right with you. Oh. <laughs> it's freezing. You guys don't believe in heating your cells? Oh, I'm sorry here. Why don't you just... Oh, okay, but, uh, after you tell me... Why it is you pulled that little fake seizure outside of James Stenbeck's hospital oh. room? Because I got to tell you, that whole college prank thing, it's really not cutting it for me. <laughs> you took me out of lockup because you know you can't keep me there much longer without giving me grounds for one hell of a lawsuit. So I suggest you get me an attorney. Now. Oh, all right. I'll call legal aid. <gasps> Goodness, though, look at the time. I wouldn't hold your breath. On second thought, do. <laughs> you had better get me out of this, Craig. Stand back. Rose, Craig, is anybody there? Can somebody talk to me? Hello? Oh. Jack? Come on, answer me, somebody. Oh. Please, let this be a nightmare. James, what have you... James? Ah! He's got him! Nobody's flying this plane! Rose? Rose, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? R Rose! Jack! Jack, look, you gotta do something! Nobody's flying this freaking plane! Rose, okay. Okay, listen, we've, we've got your plane on radar and you're holding steady. So you just gotta, you just gotta calm down and not panic. You must be on autopilot, okay? No, not okay. The opposite of okay. Okay, breathe. Just, just try to breathe and calm down. What happened to Stenbeck? I don't know. He, he must have had a parachute. He bailed out. Listen to me, Rose. You can't stay on autopilot indefinitely. Sooner or later, somebody is gonna have to take the controls. Where's Craig? and work your way back to Oakdale. Can you do that? Of course I can do that. Who do you think you're talking to? He's acting very confident as usual in saying that he can do it. But tell you the truth, between you and me, I'm not so sure. I'm looking at that plane on the horizon thing on the control panel. It looks a little slanty to me. Relax, Rosie. I got it covered. My life is in your hands, huh? Too bad I left my rosaries at home. Autopilot disengaged. We are stable at 10,000 feet. Good. Craig. When you land, I will be waiting on the tarmac for you. I'm going to hand you over to tower controls right now. Don't bother. We're not landing, Jack. What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? You said you can handle this. You, you can't land the plane? I won't land the plane. I'm not coming back till I find Carly.
Beck is our only link to finding those women, Jack. I'm not letting him get away. He's already done it. He's gone. If I fly low enough, I can probably spot his parachute. I'll radio position back. How? You gonna flash him your high beams, Craig? Game is over. Let's face it, Maverick, we're snookered. Bring that plane down now. I got him out of the hospital room to lead us to Carly and Emily. But he didn't, all right? Tough noogies. I, 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 between the air sickness and the ether, I, I need some solid ground pronto. I'm not gonna land the plane. You listen to me, Montgomery. You don't land that plane, I will have you escorted down by F-16. Do you want me to bring the federal government in? That's fine. That's no problem at all. And I will see to it that you spend the next 20 to 25 years in a government facility with a very big, very lonely roommate. You roger that? All right, I see the tower lights. Tell them I'm coming. I'm gonna find Colleen Emily as much as you do. What choice do we have? We gotta go home. So now what? Rosie, I wish I knew. The kids are fine. Why are you always so anxious? Dad, you're always so tense. Are you mad at me? Honey, you can't keep losing sleep. It makes you so irritable. You worry constantly. Can't we have a relaxing dinner anymore? Chronic anxiety can affect your relationships, your work, your life. If you are one of the millions of people who live with uncontrollable worry, anxiety, and several of these symptoms for six months or more, you could be suffering from generalized anxiety disorder, and a chemical imbalance could be to blame. Axel, the most prescribed medication of its kind for generalized anxiety, works to correct this imbalance. Prescription Paxil is not for everyone. Tell your doctor what medicines you're taking. People taking MAOIs or thioridazine should not take Paxil. Side effects may include decreased appetite, dry mouth, sweating, nausea, constipation, sexual side effects, tremor, fatigue, or sleepiness. With the help of Paxil, you can see someone you haven't seen in a while. Yourself. Hey, I remember you. Feeling pushed to the limit? Mom, my art project's due tomorrow. I brought home a ton of work. Can you drop me off at Amy's? We still have to paint the guest room tonight. So what's for dinner? Pull it all together with Manwich. A different kind of Werther's original? It's a chewy caramel. The finest caramel I've ever had. I love that taste. It could only be Werther's. Werther's original. Hard candies or chewy caramels. Try them now. After 100 years of giving you our best, one event had to be even bigger. The JCPenney 100th Anniversary Sale. The lowest prices of the season, all this Saturday. Plus, doorbuster deals when you come in early. And don't miss special savings. Buy one, get the second for a dollar. Celebrate 100 years of savings with the lowest prices of the season. It's all inside. JCPenney. I want to be pampered by natives. I want to taste something exotic. I want to get closer to my children. I want to... For special offers on vacation packages, log on now to UniversalOrlando.com. A vacation from the ordinary. We reveal the lucky winner of this million-dollar dream house tomorrow on The Early Show. Two troubled teens are about to make the mistake of their lives. Unless the angels can stop them. It just wants to hurt the world. Stay back! A powerful Touched by Angel CBS Saturday. I can't believe that you're still talking about letting Aaron stick around. Why do you sound so surprised? If somebody's kid talked to me the way he talked to you. Well, he's not somebody's kid. He's your son. All right. Maybe you're right. I mean, I don't want him to go back to Seattle. Not without knowing why he left. Right, exactly. I feel the same way. But I have to say, he, he didn't give us any lead time on this. Well, who plans when they're running away? I, I mean, wait, I'm sorry, what teenager plans anything? He needs you. You can see it in his eyes, you can hear it in his voice, his silence. Yeah, but we don't know how Caleb and Julie are going to feel about you this. talk to them, they will understand he is as much a part of you as your other children. And if he starts picking up the fact that you don't feel that way about him, it's really going to be in trouble. But what about you? You're already dealing with Abigail. 
and all those problems. Got another one on the doorstep. Got one in the oven here. How can I ask you to take him on as well? Do me a favor and close your eyes. Go on, close your eyes. Think about last summer. You put your life on the line every single day in Malta to keep Luke safe. You never let go. You never have. Luke is your son because he is my son. That is the way you've seen it. That's the way you've treated him. And every time I look at Luke and I see how happy and healthy he is, I thank God every day that you are part of his life. How can I not give the same commitment to Aaron? Damn it. Stupid, useless piece of Damn them. Damn all of them. Aaron? If something's wrong, can I help? All right, so five multiplied by x equals... Hello? Is it a kind of late for you to be up? The homework that would not die. Oh. Brings you by so late. Well, well, I figured maybe you guys were out of some staples and some of the fun stuff, so... Hey, 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 park it, pal. I was gonna do the shopping tomorrow. No need to do that. It's my pleasure. You two just go back to doing what you were doing. Hey, back to work. X equals 18. Piece of cake? And that, my friend, is basic algebra. Today, I am a man. Well, you're a lot smarter than you look, I can tell you that much. And you know, that's saying a lot, since I have all the looks and the brains in the family. Oh, we got another joke strong. Oh. 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 Okay, 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 okay. I think that's quite enough. You head on upstairs, all right? Get your PJs on, get your teeth brushed, and I will be up there in a minute to say goodnight, okay? Will you be here in the morning to wish me luck? Well, I guess that's, um, kind of up to your brother. Please, Paul. Well, I, um... If you want your mother here tomorrow, she'll be here. Yes. Everything feels so stalled, and if you... If Hal were out of here supervising, even on a part-time basis, then I could have a little hope again. I'm not sure Hal is the man for that job right now. I mean, he, he's making a very strong recovery. But I can't recommend release. It's too soon. Even if the commissioner were to take me back on the force, and that is a very big if, I, I've been out of the loop for weeks, Susan. But you're the only one Emily called. The only one since she disappeared. Didn't she tell you anything? Didn't she give you a clue about where she was being held? She wasn't able to. I mean, she called me, but then he got to me. A lot has been done to Hal that needs to be undone. It's a process. It takes time. I know, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that this has happened to you, but wouldn't it help your recovery if, if you knew you were helping Emily and Daniel? Look at me, Susan. Really look at me. What in the world makes you think that I am the man to go and bring Emily home? You are, because you love her. I know how much you love her. Doctor, I do believe that we have made a breakthrough. So, you are finally convinced that I am crazy about your daughter? I always knew that. I also knew that you've been in and out of love with Barbara Ryan since the Ice Age. And I figured if that didn't get in the way, Emily would do something to ruin it. You ought to have a little bit more faith in her, Susan. Know what I have faith in? That she's out there somewhere, alive, waiting for you to find her. I don't know, Susan. I don't know if I'm ready. To... Are you ready to see your kids? <sighs> to go home and be surrounded by the people who love you, who you love? You could still be in treatment, but come on, your kids miss you. Oh, now, can we keep the guilt to a minimum, please, Susan? How? I, of course, I can't force you to stay. 
But you need to think long and hard about whether you would feel comfortable. I don't have to home. think about it long and hard. I'll tell you right now, it scares me to death. But we've all got to go sometime. And if I continue with my therapy... Well, I, I do need to say one thing before you make that decision. What is it? James Stenbeck has escaped from the hospital. But he was in a coma. I can only report to you what I know so far. But, Hal, you've just now reached the point where you can say that man's name out loud. Do you really want to be out in a world where Stenbeck is a clear and present danger? Am I under any legal obligation to stay? No, I told you I can't force you to stay. No, but I... Then let's get the ball rolling on getting me out of here tonight. Are you sure this is what you want? If James Stenbeck is on the loose, I belong at home with my family. With my family. The arm's still pretty strong, but sometimes the pain is even stronger. So I beat strong pain with strong medicine. I grab control with Advil. There are a lot of pain relievers out there, but doctors know that nothing, not Tylenol, not Aleve, nothing's proven stronger or lasts longer than Advil. Taking control and beating the pain, that's the ball game. You have the strength to get rid of pain. Take control, take Advil. There's nothing like the big flavor hit of many Ritz. To keep your snacking machine running smoothly, there's no place like Ritz. Bonnie's toothpaste stopped fighting plaque before her first cup of coffee. But Colgate Total is different. It protects for 12 hours, even after eating and drinking. Isn't it nice to know you use Colgate Total? Colgate Total, 12-hour protection. Your skin's a living thing. Feed it something to help it feel healthy. Vaseline Intensive Care with the moisturizers, vitamins, and lipids for healthier, more resilient skin. It's your skin. Do the right thing. It's lunchtime. Do you know where your baby food came from? Gerber does. We know which field, which orchard your baby's veggies and fruits come from and what's been grown there for over a decade. No one babies their food like Gerber. And only Gerber has Nature Lock to gently capture all the goodness nature intended without adding any sugar or starch. Now, back to lunch. Oh boy, shouldn't your baby be a Gerber baby? What are you doing here? I waited till Grandma went to bed. Then I snuck out of the house. I had to see it again. The bike? You know anything about motorcycles? I know I like them. Ever ridden one? No, but I can ride any horse in the stables almost. Nice trick. I won't teach you that. He knows everything there is to know about horses. And I know everything there is to know about motorcycles. Go ahead. Take a load off. Want to see what it feels like to be in a driver's seat? Sure. Right. If it's okay. Sure. 100% safe. Cool. How do you make it go? Well, this is a five speed. You control it with your foot. Right down there. You rode all the way from Seattle? Believe it or not, it takes a decent machine to make a trip like that. Whoa, it must have taken a long time to learn everything. If a dropout like me can make sense of it, a smart kid like you shouldn't have a problem. You teach me? Oh, slow down, kid. Never said nothing like that. 
Besides, by the time you're lazy along enough to reach the pedals, I'll be long gone. You should stay. Why do you want a bum hanging around you, kid? You're not a bum. You're my brother. I've always wanted a brother. Not many wives in your position would just open their arms and say, come on in. Room for one more. I am not suffering from raging hormones, so don't accuse me of that. <sighs> it's one thing to bring a kid into your home when you're expecting, but this particular kid, when we found out that he was on the way, it nearly sent us down the tubes. But we're stronger for it now, aren't we? Maybe we are, but mm -hmm. I just don't know that I'm up for the challenge. I think what we need is a nice, peaceful, stable environment for the next few months, if not years. I'm all for that. And when, Definitely. with this baby on the way, I want walls screeching, <laughs> noise from a newborn, <laughs> not a teenager. Right. And how the heck did he get to be so old anyway? <laughs> I have an idea. Why doesn't he stay at the farm? He can split his time between there and here. I never thought of that. That is a good idea. Yeah. I'm sure Mama would love it. Yes. Aaron could stick around without getting lost in the shuffle. Yeah. But wait, before you do anything, think about how he would feel about it. Well, I think he would love it. Shoes. And I'm sure Mama would love it also. We just have to make sure that he knew that he would be welcome to come over here at any time. Absolutely. I just have to ask you one more time. Are you sure that you don't mind? I would mind if you didn't ask him to stay. And so would you. You know what? Why don't you take these clean clothes and go over to the farm and talk to your mother first and see how she feels about it. Great idea. Okay. And then you can tell him in person the good news. You know what? I don't know who's luckier. Me, for having you as a wife, or this little baby mm -hmm. is getting you for a mom. Aww. Thanks. Mm. Thank you. Legal aid called. Is that a good thing? They can't get a lawyer here until tomorrow morning, so you'll be spending the night in jail. Oh, you'll be arraigned in the you've morning. You've got to be kidding me. Or you could call your parents. You could possibly have them hire a private uh, attorney for you. That's that might not be a likely. very good idea since this is a very dangerous thing that you've done, and you are in a lot of hot water with this, which you've been in before. Hey, look, I know something very bad happened tonight, and I'm sorry, but I swear to you, I didn't know anything about any Stenbeck person. Mm -hmm. I... Wait here. Can I get a cup of tea or something? Because my stomach, I think I left it in the friendly skies. Sure, Rose, I'll get you some tea. Come. Well, no hello for your brother. Brandy? Don't you even talk to me. What's she doing here, Jack? She's getting booked. On what Craig? charges? What, what's the matter? Don't you recognize your accomplice when you see her? I've been telling them over and over again that they're wrong. I don't know any stand And you can tell the DA all about it tomorrow morning. She's telling the truth, Jack. She only caused the commotion because I asked her to. She didn't know what I was doing. Nobody did. Because you took law into your own hands, Craig. Because you think you're smarter than everybody else. Smarter than Stenbeck, smarter than the cops, smarter than 90% of the world. 95. But you're yeah. not. You got used, Craig. Same way Barbara did, same way Hal did. And because of you, we lost Stenbeck, and we may never find Carly. Are you happy now? Many people. We used to think they're frequent, persistent heartburns. It's just plain old heartburn. But if you've treated your heartburn, changed your diet, and the pain still comes back two or more days a week, it could be from acid reflux disease. And over time, that acid churning up can wear away the lining of your esophagus. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Today, there's a purple pill called Nexium from the makers of Prilosec. For many people, one prescription Nexium a day means complete. 24 hours. Day and night heartburn relief. And Nexium is also proven to heal erosions in the esophagus caused by acid reflux. Only a doctor can tell if you have this damage. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. The most common side effects of Nexium and Prilosec are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Talk to your doctor and call this number for more information and a free trial offer for Nexium. Relieve the heartburn, heal the damage. It's possible with today's purple pill called Nexium. Do your lips have a thirst for diamonds? Now Maybelline dazzles lips with wet shine diamonds. 
wet look lipstick with a shower of diamond shine. Lip indulging moisture with glints of diamond shine pearls creates a dazzling new effect. 12 multifaceted shades for lips that work every angle. New wet shine diamonds from Maybelline. Shower your lips in diamonds. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Hide, seek, peek, chase, pounce. Feeling from great taste without the calories. Do something with it. Diet Coke. Do what feels good. Looking for a quiet moment? Get a quieter cookie. Soft, fruit, chewy Fig Newtons. Time out from the everyday crunch. Mr. Spoon's one way to encourage kids to eat properly. Yet studies show many children aren't getting the recommended amounts of nutrients. That's why many parents choose Pediasure. Ask your doctor about the complete balanced nutrition in Pediasure. CBS Thursday, when the body's cold, CSI gets down to business. But this time, the case gets personal. You can't get too close to the victims. She's special. CSI. This, this agent was trained for a desk job, but when she goes undercover... It's about to go down. ...things go terribly wrong. She could be executed. They know what the stakes are. The agency, CBS Thursday. Virtual child porn. If the kids aren't real, should it be illegal? Friday, the Supreme Court's decision will shock you. This is insane. First Monday, after a special JAG, CBS Friday. Looking for a great place to relax or entertain guests? If you want a quality sunroom, now at a sale price, call Patio Enclosures Incorporated. My phone bill's how much? What are these charges? Mom? Easy, ma'am. It's time you switch to Z-Tel. <laughs> Z-Tel? Right, the smart choice for local and long distance home phone service. Save at least 200 bucks a year. Customize the plan you want with the features you need from one company on one bill. But who has time to switch? You can't afford not to switch. It's free, easy. You keep your same phone number and no service call. Wow. Plan starting at $24.99 a month, including local calling, long distance minutes, plus voicemail, call waiting, and other great features. Hello, Zetel? Call 1-877-BE-SMART. Zetel, the smart choice. My work here is done. Hey, thanks, Zetel guy. Switching was easy. Just one call. Switching is fast, easy, and free. Call now, 1-877-BE-SMART. A Laverne and Shirley reunion. We're back. Behind the scenes secrets with the stars, plus Sandra Bullock and Spider-Man next evening. Tonight at 6.30 on CBS 2. Academy Award winner Christine Motti, Campbell Scott, The Pilot's Wife, CBS Sunday. You had to be the hero, right? You had to interfere, and thanks to you, we lost Denmeck. We don't know where he's going. We don't know what he's going to do with those women, and we are running out of time. Don't try to take <laughs> your bruised ego. Hi, 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 hi. Does this mean I can go now? <laughs> you, you, you better stay out of trouble. For God's sakes, stay away from him. <laughs> My pleasure. After, uh, you pay me what you owe me. And by the way, the price for my little performance at the hospital just doubled. I'll take care of it. It's all right. Yeah, I'll hold you to it. And, um, thanks for getting me sprung. Oh. <laughs> this is so not how I envisioned spending my college years. Well, good of you to free our little academic. I don't know how lucky she is. You're the lucky one, you moron. You're lucky you got a girl at home who depends on you, and you're lucky that I believe that your concern for Carly, though pathetically misguided, is real. Otherwise, I'd be reading you your rights. For what? Well, aiding and abetting the escape of a felon, for starters. Hey, if that's what it takes to bring those women home, Jack... You didn't bring them home, Well, Craig. somebody had to do something. Well, that's my job! If you're gonna toss me in jail for doing your job, go ahead. I'll do it right again. So you dream of quadratics and coefficients and solving X. That sounds more like a nightmare. March. See you bright and early.
over a monstrous stack of pancakes. <laughs> How can I sleep drooling for breakfast? <laughs> Find a way. Upstairs. Night. Night, Night pal. Sweetie. The bus leaves at 8.15. I know that. So how do you plan to make him breakfast before school? I thought that I might spend the night here. No. It's late, Paul, Mom, and no. he expects me to be here. Paul, Mom, please. I can't let you insinuate yourself into Will's life again. Not until I know I can trust you. Please, Paul. I need to be here. Well, what, what, do you, what do you mean you need to be here? Your father's escaped. The man's unconscious. No. Somehow he was able to work the hospital monitors. He's not in a coma. So what now? I don't know. And I know this is my fault. I'm to blame, and I'm sorry for that, but I can't go back to Fairwinds. Okay. I can't okay. be alone. Okay. Paul, please. You stay here. You stay in general. I used to. Yeah, I thought I heard Dad! Hey, Will! Dad, oh, you're home. You're finally Buddy. home. I missed you so much. All right, kid. Off the bike and up to bed. Grandma knows when things and people aren't where they should be. Dad said she's got ears that can hear the grass grow. That's how come she always knows when to harvest things. I buy that. That's a pretty cool thing you said earlier. About Grandma? About wanting me for a brother. You're not exactly the only child. Faith and Abigail are okay and everything. But they're my sisters. And girls don't like to do cool things like guys do. Well, maybe you don't have to worry about getting their brother you always wanted. What do you mean? I mean, your parents are going to... They're going to give you everything you need. You want a horse? Presto. You have a horse. You want your dad? Bam. There he is. No stress. No fuss. Must be nice. Dad's the best. You keep thinking that, kid. That's what you want, too. Right? Hang out with him whenever you want. That's why he rode this bike all the way from Seattle. Hey, you two. Uh-oh. Grandmother said I might buy you down here. What's going on? Aaron let me sit on his bike. Oh, he did, did he? It's not like I was going to let him drive to the cornfield or something. It wasn't even turned on. Nobody's accusing you of anything, Aaron. But it is past somebody's bedtime. It means me. You need to get to bed. Or you're going to fall asleep at school tomorrow. Aaron's bike is the coolest thing ever. I was thinking... Maybe I could teach him how to ride a horse. And he could teach me how to ride a motorcycle? We'll talk about that later. When? When you're about 30. Now get to bed. Night, Dad. I'll be up to tuck you in a little bit, OK? Night, Dan. Night, kid. Aaron's going to stay with us, right, Dad? As a matter of fact, that's what I'm here to talk to him about. your future now with new Bayer Women's Aspirin Plus Calcium. Calcium for your bones, aspirin for your heart. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen and ask about new Bayer Women's. Pepperidge Farm Milano Cookies. 
rich chocolate, exquisite cookies. Sharing is overrated. Pepperidge Farm, never have an ordinary day. It's so easy You'll love, love Ziploc love. Easy Zipper. It's so Just easy zipper it, and you know it's closed. Ziploc Easy Zipper. Easy open, easy close. Easy zipper. So what'd you have for supper? Hungry man! Fried chicken dinner! You? A sliver of trout and baby carrot! Should've had Hungry Man from Swanson. With a pound of food, it's good to be full. Now, experience the true intensity of color. Introducing Herbal Essences Hair Color, made with pure color extracts that saturate your hair for intense color like never before. Shine so brilliant, unbelievable color that holds on and won't let go. Got the urge? Oh, yeah. New Herbal Essences Hair Color from Clairol. A beauty all your own. protection more women choose the one the only tampax this week i'm gonna fight for my man but this time i'm gonna win don't mess with the divas of genoa city you are married to me remember you don't want to get on my bad side because every minute is red hot will phyllis be staying see jack's my husband i'm his wife this is my house did you understand that on the young and the restless Tonight on 60 Minutes 2, is this kid the next Tiger Woods? His father thinks so. They're doing what a lot of families are doing, following the Tiger formula. Tonight at 8, 7 Central. Well, will you look at what the nerve of this kid. What did I do? Well, you went and you got taller when I was away. That's what you did. You think? Uh, big time, I know. I wanted to go visit you at the hospital, but they wouldn't let me. Uh, you know what, that's probably a good thing, too, because uh, you wouldn't want to see me like that. You know, all mopey and tired. Anyway, you knew I was coming home, didn't you? You better? Well, you know what, Will, I still kind of feel like a wet sock. But I think I'm going to be back to my old self pretty soon. But you know what, I don't think I really knew that until I walked through that door and I saw this place and I saw you. So what brings you by, Susan? She's the one who told me that I still have a job to do, that people still need me. Does that mean you're here to stay? Yes, I'm here to stay. This is great. I'm even going to make us breakfast. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm staying here, too. You can sleep in, and I'll make Will breakfast. Paul, isn't this cool? They'll both be here in the morning. Looks that way. This is amazing. No, uh... Pal, what, what's going to be amazing is if you manage to pass this test tomorrow in a couple hours' sleep, I get upstairs. See what I have to put up with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Night, Mom. Good night, sweetie. Sweet dreams. Night. Good night, night Pal. Paul. I'll see you in the morning. Tall guy. <laughs> Can't believe it. You're back. Yeah. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, I really don't want this getting out. This homecoming's not up for publication yet. I just want to. Spend time here resting, getting used to being home. Our lips are sealed. Thank you for that. Have you heard? James Stenbeck escaped. Uh, yeah, Mother just told me, and uh, uh, that's why she's here. Yeah. Figure there's safety in numbers, and since you're adding to our numbers, I thought I'd head down to the police station and uh, see if they got any new information for us. So. Well, you'll let me know if you hear anything. You can count on it. And, uh, Hal? Damn glad to have you back, man. Damn good to be here. <laughs> well, I should be going, too. Uh, I've been gone for hours. Who knows what Allison is getting up to. Good to see you, Susan. You, too. How I... Susan, thank you for coming to see me. I don't want your gratitude. I want you to bring Emily home, where she belongs.
I'm sick of you getting in my way, Montgomery. As sick as I am of you letting that badge keep anybody from finding Carla? You found a new way of finding people while you're passed out on the floor of an airplane on autopilot? I'd love to hear it. You know, uh, Jack, please, uh, Craig isn't the only one responsible here. I am, too, so let me hear this part of the lecture. It's, uh, it's my turn. Come on. No, I, it's not the same, Rose. For one thing, you didn't help spring a known felon from police custody. For another, your family is one notch below vermin. Oh. All right, listen, I'm going to say a few things right now, and please don't hold it against me, Anna, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Do what? I'm going to stand up for Craig. Say that again in my good ear. <laughs> please, don't make me feel worse, and I reserve the right to regret saying this, but Craig did what he did because... But the same reason I did what I did. He, we thought we could hold Stemmick's feet over the fire and he could lead us to where he's hiding Carly and Emily. Thank you, Rosie. And we blew it. Yeah, and you sent this case free-falling. We could have had him, Craig. Hey, oh, please. I was there. I could have had him if you let me hunt him down. You could have got yourself killed. Do you know that? All right, Craig, just, just shut up, okay? Thompson, would you take Miss D'Angelo to Holden Snyder's place? She'll give you directions on the way. No problem. Thank you, Marco. Look, Jack, for what it's worth, I'm, I'm sorry. Deeply sorry, but I'm most sorry for not for coming back empty handed. Go home, Ross. We'll talk about this later. So, what about me, Jack? Do I get escorted to my favorite cell or is it straight to the rack? Go home, Craig. Funny, you said what? I said go home, and if you come near this investigation And what again... am I supposed to do, Jack? A woman I love is being held against her will, and you are obviously powerless to Take do anything. Views. Spend some time with your daughter. Give, give Emily Stewart a newspaper to come home to. I really don't care what you do. Just stay the hell away from here. Jack, it's for you. Who is it? Stand back. This weekend, Enterprise Rent-A-Car announces special low rates from just $9.99 a day. Friday till Monday from just $9.99 a day. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Critics and audiences are cheering for one of the best family films in years. The Rookie is Disney magic at its best. A movie for anyone who's ever had a dream. Oh, my God! Dennis Quaid, The Rookie, rated G, now playing... Let's play truth or dare. Truth, when you get a yeast infection, you use one of those messy creams, don't you? Truth, there may be an easier way. It's a pill, Diflucan. Truth, just one pill is as effective as the leading seven-day cream without the mess. And Diflucan is the number one doctor-prescribed yeast infection treatment. Ready for the dare? I dare you to call your doctor and ask about Diflucan. That's all it takes. A simple phone call to learn more about the only pill to treat a yeast infection. Diflucan. Treat a yeast infection with a pill instead of a messy cream. It's your call. With Diflucan, there is an increased possibility of side effects compared with creams, including headache, nausea, and abdominal pain. In rare instances, serious effects on the liver and serious allergic reactions were reported. Do not use Diflucan if you are nursing. If you are pregnant or taking other medications, talk to your doctor. To prevent heart-related complications, do not take Diflucan if you are taking Propulsive. For more information, ask your doctor or visit our website, Diflucan. Just want to say how I missed you all day. So I'm baking big old biscuits. They're the heart of the meal. Oh, my heart. I'm Father Time. Really? And I like things that last a really long time. 2,000 flushes cleans up to four months. Others last up to five weeks. That's why it's 2,000 flushes for my throne. 2,000 flushes. We measure in months, not weeks. Every day, Texas wakes up to billions of allergens. Introducing Clarinex. Clarinex provides receptor protection to help block histamine. Get 24-hour non-drowsy relief for any allergy, anywhere, anytime. Side effects are similar to sugar pill, including sore throat, dry mouth, and fatigue. Wherever you are, whatever your allergy, talk to your doctor about new Clarinex. Tonight, West Wing's a repeat. So here's your chance to get into an all-new amazing race. Teams must make their way through Thailand by road. This is really going to separate the men from the boys. By rail. If this doesn't break me, nothing will. And by raft. You see this? Freaking river, man. All-new amazing race, CBS Tonight. So, see you around? See you around.
looks like you won somebody over. Yeah. What's he know? He's just a kid. It's all about the bike anyway. Nah, it's more than that. You know him better than I do. You're part of his family. He's picking up on that. You're one of us. What you got there? Oh, uh, these are the clothes that Lily washed for you. Good. I'll need them. I spoke to your grandmother, and I think that we've come up with a solution to your problem. My problem? I don't have a problem. No, neither do you. How do you mean? Going back to Seattle tonight. questions you think of that squad car as my drive home from the biggest failure of my life oh, i'm sorry no my biggest failure in my life as a senior citizen what are you talking about my plan to find carly and emily right down the drain and then i get an escort home from the police department what happened i don't want to talk about it Can we did this later please i feel like i'm gonna fall down on my crow's feet oh, i know how you feel it's been quite a night here too Holden's son, um, Aaron, showed up with a chip on his shoulder the size of Montana. Go back a second. Holden has a son named Aaron. Since when? Since he was born. He lives with his mother and Caleb. Wait, you talk about Caleb as in Holden's brother, Caleb? Right. Let me get this straight. Holden's brother is raising Holden's son that I never even knew existed. I thought I told you that. I would remember that. Trust me, I remember everything about you. I thought I knew everything, but now Holden's got a son who's an angry young man. <laughs> son, unbelievable. You guys, you too, I'll tell you, you breathe like I, you don't know what. When Luke and Faith get older, I'm going to talk to him, Aunt Rose. Talk about abstinence, protection. What we don't need is another little Snyder running around this house, right? Actually, Rose, can you hold that thought? Because I don't feel so good. My tummy's a little upset. You're not the only one. Then why are you munching down all those cookies? I am. What's going on with you, Tiger Lily? And may I say, your skin is looking a little less than opalescent. Thank you. Well, I'm saying... What? There's been something that I've been wanting to tell you, but with everything going on... Say it. There is going to be another little Snyder running around this place. Get out of here. You're not... I am. Pregnant? Well, this is incredible! Oh, really? You're gonna have a baby? Oh, and I'm gonna be an Aunt Rose again, this time from scratch. Oh, Lily. Are you really happy? This is the best news ever. You know what? This homecoming needs, I know exactly what it needs. I picked up some turkey and some ham and some Swiss on I'm really not them. hungry, Barbara. I just had dinner a little while ago. Oh. Well, it's been quite a day. I think I'll turn in. Good idea. I'm going to sleep in Jennifer's room. I'll check the master bedroom. Someone needs to let Paul know that this bed and breakfast doesn't come with maid service. Barbara. There's something you want, Val. Yeah. I want to talk to you. About us. Detective Hughes, I want to trace this call. What do you want, Stemming? I assume that you're still interested in Carly's return. You know I am. I can arrange that. What's he saying? No deals, Stemming. No planes, no money, no special favors. Snyder, here are my terms. The women get back to Oakdale alive. 
and you will call off the state troopers and the FBI. If that's the deal. That's the deal. What do you want, Stemmeck? What I want is a fair exchange, something you have access to for something I have access to. Speak English. You give me Carly and Emily, I give you what? Barbara. Of giving you our